Brewer. staircase to the left. you allows me to do the impossible my lady <laughs> and as you'll see I've prepared packed lunches for all of you that far surpass this morning's offerings I do hope you'll enjoy them how did you get here thanks um we really appreciate you going to all the trouble to make these for us true that said I'm really curious how you got here before us it seems that the Reinford family's maid enjoys a little amusement at the expense of her employer. I imagine you transferred to an airship in the capital? Ah. Of course, why didn't I think of that? You can cut the time from Heimdall to Ruhr in half if you travel by airship, I think. <laughs> you got me. I took advantage of the opportunity to borrow the airship's kitchen so I could make your lunches as well. They're quite fresh, so take a moment to savor the taste. <laughs> Well, thank you. We really do appreciate all you're doing for us. Honestly, I knew you had to be up to something. You're not planning on coming all the way to the Nord Highlands with us now, are you? I'd love to, but unfortunately, I have some other business I must attend to. I may not be able to return to Trista for a while, either. Other business? Sharon will be assisting me with my work. And who are you? <laughs> Hello, Elisa. Oh! Ugh, you all must be members it's of Class German 7. Lighting. There is a resemblance. Irina. I'm Elisa's mother, Irina. Irina, excuse Also me. the chairman of the Reinford Group. It's a pleasure to meet you. The, the pleasure is ours. I'm Reen, Reen Schwarzer. Pleased to meet you. My name is Emma Milstein. Gaius Warzel. Glad to meet you, Sis Alborea. A pleasure. I'm glad you're all managing to get along with my obstinate daughter. I wish I could stay a while, but unfortunately I have work that can't wait. Come along, Sharon. As you wish, Madam Chairman. What? S seriously You show up like this and that's all you have to say? It's always work with you, isn't it? You probably didn't even notice I left home until I was already gone. Now it's just, hello, Elisa, and that's it? My lady. I did get the impression her relationship with her mother wasn't all sunshine and gumdrops. People gotta work. I never got the demonize the parent for working trope. It seems there's a lot of friction between them. You can live your life however you see fit. I have no intention of forcing the Reinford group on you. 
Even if you decide to follow a certain someone's path and cast aside all sense of responsibility, it's your choice to make. I'm taking a hint that that's her father. <laughs> Besides, I still manage to keep myself informed of the general goings-on in your academic life. In the monthly reports I receive from the Academy. What? I knew Sharon would relay back information about me. But reports from the Academy itself? Oh, you must not have known. In addition to my other responsibilities, I also sit on the Academy's board of directors. Ooh. In an attempt to escape her mother, she went right into her. Oh my, that means... Just like Rufus. It does appear that way. I'd certainly deem the chairman of the Reinford Group a canny choice as a member of the board. Hmm. The Reinford Group is heavily involved in the development of the Orbal staff, as well as your Arcus. I must say, I'm quite pleased with the reports I've received on your usage of both. I'm looking forward to seeing the results of this month's field study as well. Do give me some good reading, won't you? Please excuse us, my lady. Take care during the rest of your journey. Elisa? You all right? First step that led to me enrolling in the academy. But how was I supposed to know that I'd gone and signed up for the school she sits on the board of directors of? spared the time to come greet us. At least she showed the slightest trace of interest in your classmates. Yeah, his father just doesn't give a flying fuck about him.
Huh. Zendar Gate. You've arrived. Lieutenant General. Zekas, Vandar? Yeah, they enemy Zekas. Horseback. I bet. Anyway. I know there is horse controls in this. It's in the little book. Yeah, this game came with a book! Beautiful.
Okay. of the city. It really is. I feel like I'm one with the wind. Indeed, but if you didn't go too fast, that would be great. I'm sure it will feel natural in time. No doubt the riding club would be fuming with envy if they could see us now. <laughs> I'll bet. <laughs> anyway, my home settlement is due northeast of here. Hopefully we'll be able to reach it before sundown. Right. Let's move! How to ride a horse. It's literally the same. Okay. as a child. <laughs> I think I'm just caught up in the moment. It's just faster. I'm trying to explore all this later. The sun's almost down. We're almost at the settlement. Let's keep up the pace, guys. Right up through here. I mean, you are nomadic. They're yurts, basically. She's 
Yoshida. Toma, Shida, and Lily. Okay, so Lily is the youngest. I kind of picked up on that. But that's because they are. Flattery will get you everywhere. Lucan. Lacan, excuse me. I can read. Yeah, big four-post beds like that wouldn't be easy to move. They'd be sleeping on ground cloths. Pheasant meat, herbs, and rock salt. I need it, it looks freaking good, and that's pretty low res on my screen here. I'm not gonna bump up the video settings, but I don't have a pro, so what you see is what you get. If not a free country. I like that. Staying in a yurt. A yurt with wooden doors. Okay.
Everyone rested up, ready for action? Good. So I'm in the episode here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time. Oh, actually, I'll probably let this text play out before cutting it off. Where am I? Uh, oh, right. Nord Highlands. How did you forget? I feel surprisingly energetic. Maybe it's the clean air or that great food we had yesterday. Or a combination of the I two. I wonder if Master Kafai trained out in the wilderness like this. You're up early, Reen. Morning, guys. Whoa. Hold on. Why are you dressed like that? Oh, I was just helping put the sheep out to pasture. They should almost be done fixing the morning meal now. Okay. I guess we should wake up the others then. Yusis. Elisa. Emma. Rise and shine, everyone. It's officially the crack of dawn. <clears throat> Where am I? Are those... sheep? Oh, glasses. Glasses. You guys. I suppose none of you are used to waking up quite this early. Well, I can fix your rain is. Zex has something for me. As is a guy named Amur. And delivery to the watchtower. Okay. We're doing all that next time. Trading post, obvious. In the lodging here, it allows you to rest. Visit whenever you need. And Gaius just has his S crafts now. Calamity Hawk. Okay. I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Trails of Cold Steel as I go do the daily tasks for this area. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.